from London. The British pound steadied in early Asian trading to climb just above $1.07. The Treasury moved to settle markets with the promise of a budget next spring. A sterling tumbled to its lowest level against the dollar for at least half a century. Meanwhile, lenders have begun withdrawing some of their mortgages as uncertainty grows in the wake of the Chancellor's £45 billion package of tax cuts. British rail unions are staging a series of train strikes targeting the Conservative Party conference in October. Members of the RMT union will walk out on October the 1st and October the 8th. And ASLEF, which represents train drivers, will strike across 12 train operating companies on October the 1st and October the 5th. The Transport Secretary has previously condemned the strikes, which are over low pay and poor working conditions. The Bank of England has announced that coins and banknotes featuring King Charles III will be circulated in 2024. Currency with Queen Elizabeth's portrait will be withdrawn over time as they become damaged or worn. The new notes will be made from polymer, like the current ones, which replaced paper currency over the previous decades. The designs for new notes and coins will be revealed in due course. Apple has revealed that it will be manufacturing the new iPhone 14 in India as the American tech firm looks to shift some production away from China. Beijing's zero-COVID policy has disrupted production at factories across the country, which has highlighted some potential weak spots in Apple's supply chain. The company unveiled the iPhone 14 earlier this month, and it features a longer-lasting battery, more powerful camera, and a faster processor. Those are your main stories from London at Close of Business.